Hello. In this week's Parsha, we are introduced to Yisro. Yisro, the husband of, of Moshe, hears of the great events that occur to B'nai Israel. Rashi says that Yisro heard and he came. What does he mean by this? And what is what happened here? And how is it relevant to us today? Rob Wolpe writes of a man who reads, who's reading a newspaper, such as the New York Times, and he and reads of a great event, the Red Sea splits. Unbelievable. Walls of water on both sides. Dry land. What an event. Not only that, simultaneously all the waters of the world everywhere split as well. Lakes, rivers, other bodies of water, seas, all split simultaneously with this great action of the Sea of Reeds. Even that, even more amazing, even cups of coffee split, bowls of soup, cereal bowls, everything splits, everything with water splits. The man is very fascinated. What an interesting story. But shortly after that, his curiosity wanes, and he, he turns the page and goes to the sports page and reads the scores and goes about his day. The event happened, and it, it passed. It, cha it didn't change him. Are we, are we in the same situation? Yisro tells us that in order, as a prerequisite of accepting Torah, that we must not only hear, but we must internalize, we must, we must listen and, and understand. Not only that, we must act. He acts, he comes, he hears of the great events. He can't be a part, he cannot miss it, he has to be there. He, he understands. The beta that he was given by Hashem allows him to go forward and, and discard anything he knew before, anything about idolatry, he, he throws away. He, he sees the truth. The message is no less important for us today. We're constantly exposed to Hashem's miracles, Hashem's orchestrations of things all the time, all through our lives. Are we listening, or are we being distracted by the sports page? The message is clear. Just as Yisrael in the times of B'nai Israel, our forefathers, was focused and understood what the message was and grasped it as soon as he heard about it, we today, Kalal Yisrael, have to be understand the message as well. We need to be able to act, act in the Torah, act on our, on our God-given abilities, and be and, and achieve closeness to Hashem, and do and use all our abilities to the best of our ability to be to do and act, listen and 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 and, and create and achieve. I want. May you have a wonderful Shabbos.